Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Today I'm gonna to do a quick, try and do a quick anyway, kind of product spotlight, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. I don't really need to call it anyway. But what we're talking about today is the Invert Bandolier by IC13. It's a sick little product that I was introduced to, I don't know, maybe six months or so back by my friends at Wise Men Company. Uh, IC13, Wise Men Company, both cool companies worth checking out. I'll link to them down below as well. But I'm just gonna kinda get into this. I'll throw some B-roll if I can find it. Uh, you guys probably know that I'm not good with old content. So I've shot with this thing quite a bit. Really like it. And we'll see if I can dig up some old files to show on there. I haven't been shooting as much as I want to this summer. Uh, as I've mentioned in some videos, I think you've probably heard because there is a giant fire ban going out in Colorado right now. I think it did just get lowered, but I still think in most of the places I go shooting, fi shooting, discharging firearms is actually prohibited during the, uh, the previous and this stage of the fire ban. So hopefully it lifts more so I can go out shooting more. But it's been a pretty busy summer for me anyway with the launch of my website and ramping up holster production. I have been selling some accessories and stuff. This hat, I'll have some new hats soon, patches, stickers, all that stuff, working on some t-shirts. So yeah, if you want any LLOD products, I did launch a website, LLOD.us. You can get some stuff there and some stuff will be kind of limited run and my holsters are for sale over there as well. Anyway, done with that, we're on to this product. So I have it here with a, this is my Multicam Black-esque painted AR from Mad Custom. Matches Multicam Black hat. Dang, this is Multicam Black. You know what I say about Multicam Black. If there's a cool product that's out in Multicam Black and I don't have it yet, then I don't know. Is the product even really a product? Here, so I'll ditch this AR pistol in a second, but just to give you a quick breakdown of what it is, goes over like this. You see the mags are dropping down in this orientation, which makes mag reloads really quick. So you're here, you run dry, and instead of like fumbling with a plate carrier or chest rig where you're pulling the mags up and flipping it around, so run dry, mag right here, you can grab it, do a nice grip, pull it out, right up, reload, drop the bolt, ready to go. So as far as speed is concerned, it's, whew, I don't know if it can be beat. Might be the fastest, fastest platform to reload for a, for a rifle or rifle caliber gun or pistol caliber carbine as well. That's pretty much out there because you're right here, reloads right there. So that's one thing that's really cool. And let's go ahead and ditch this AR and get into some features. I'll kind of show it on body here. This is the Multicam Black version and it is, it comes with kind of like their full kit. They sent this out to me in the full kit version, uh, Multicam Black. So this is, they send it with these things not attached, so you can kind of do it however you want. Uh, this is kind of the system that they show on their site, so I just set it up like that. If I did it again, I might move the mag pouch up top, or the uh, medical pouch up top, that's what this is, and the mag's down below. Just, I feel like that access for those mags is a little more natural than reaching up higher like this but this setup works just fine too. You can get this with no pouches and you can run any of your own pouches on here. It comes with PALS webbing so you can attach anything that's molly. Uh, has a couple PALS webbings up here. They blend in really well because they are multicam. So if you wanted to run like a tourniquet pouch or something up here, you could put something up here. 
It is ambidextrous, I believe, though I didn't read anything about it, but it's the same on both sides. So if you wanted to run this in the other configuration as a lefty, you could just flip your stuff around and run it that way, I believe. Hopefully I'm not misspeaking there. But anyways, we have the pals up here. So you can put something up here. I don't have anything there, obviously. I have this patch. You can get these patches on my site if you're into it. But that I'm just showing because there is Velcro here. Also, multicam black Velcro. While I'm at it, this thing does come in a variety, pretty much all the sick colors out there. Multicam, multicam black, uh, coyote black, gray, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it comes in pretty much all the tactical colors. Ben at Wiseman has like a limited unicorn woodland, which I think they're gonna release. I'm not sure, it might be out already. Anyway, a lot of cool colors and let's just kind of continue on. So like I said, it's kind of the same here and here. So I think you can run it, you can flip it around and run it uh, lefty if you want. But again, sorry if I'm wrong about that. Down here, there is this pouch that you can use a pistol, pistol mag down here. So that's kind of how I have it set up. So you have your rifle mags up here and your pistol down here. So same deal if you had your pistol out and then you wanted to go for reload, super easy to get to it. Holds a 17, you could put a 33 rounder in there or anything and you'd be good to go. And then the main portion of this bandolier is has pals here, uh, which you can obviously set up basically three rifle size pouches here. Med pouch, you could run three pouches. You can also set this up. They do actually sell it in this configuration, uh, kind of a pistol caliber carbine version or just pistols in general if you just need to carry a, a bunch of mags on you. So you can fit more because obviously the pistol mags are slimmer. So you could set it up with a bunch of pistol mags here. You could set it up with a full med kit or you could really do whatever you want because it is just pals underneath here. So. Whatever pouches you wanna put on there, you can. Uh, this is again, the kind of stereotypical setup. So I also have the strap here, giving me some nice under boob maybe, but this kind of locks it down. So it's super secure. Oh yeah, I like that dance, super secure there. But if that is off, then this will obviously flop around a little bit, but this is how you get it on super quick. So the use cases of this could be with your bug out bag, with your, truck gun, maybe a first responder, or any number of things. What this is, is a super lightweight, super minimal piece of kit that can basically store anywhere. It's very small, and along with being very small, it's very quick. You just grab it, toss it over your shoulder, and you could start running. You could get in, this is functional here, you could get to your reloads, you could get to your mags, like this, no problem. But if you do need to lock it down, then you just grab this strap, which will be dangling, and hook it up here. And that'll really lock it down so there's not much movement at all. So this thing, as you can see, basically is very small. It's very lightweight. It's very minimal. It's very easy to deploy. It's very quick, both in getting it on as well as accessing your gear. Everything comes right here. Everything is well within reach. Everything is positioned ergonomically and Basically, you can use it with other pieces of kit. You could run this thing with a backpack if you want. You can obviously run it with a rifle slung across your shoulder. So it's kind of nice because it is complementary with other pieces of gear, uh, but also a good standalone item. The med kit that it comes with, you could obviously build your own and attach it. Very basic. It has a SWAT T tourniquet, gauze, gloves, and I think I think a duct tape in there. If you wanted to toss another cat or some kind of tourniquet up here, you could obviously, as mentioned before. So yeah, I think that's kind of it for this. There isn't much to it. There's not really anything going on on the back, just a strap to hold it in place. It is wide enough to be relatively comfortable, but unobtrusive and obviously gets wider along this portion here where you attach all this stuff. While it is kind of like, in my mind, it's like, oh, that seems really revolutionary. The bandolier has been around forever and there's been other companies that have done a similar style to this as well. So it isn't really the first of its kind, uh, but I feel like it is kind of the first that has taken hold and it's, it's made in the USA and it's quality and it's the first one of these kind of things that I've ever used. So it is my first experience with something like this. 
and it's been nothing but a joy. So yeah, anyways, you've seen this in other of my videos and I just wanted to make a quick video about it because I've gotten quite a few emails from people asking me what it is because it's kind of unique and there's not a whole lot of companies out there making something like this. So I just figured I'd toss the video together because it's a piece of kit that uh, might find a place in your system uh, and I just kind of wanted to show it off. So yeah, I think, I think that wraps it up. Okay guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, informative, if you like these kind of quicker videos, though it's still probably long compared to most YouTubers, but if you like these quicker videos, let me know because like I mentioned a lot, I have so much gear and these kind of videos I can crank out a little faster and maybe get more of them out there and kind of expose you guys to more gear like this, uh, pieces of gear that I like and find useful. Anyways, take two seconds, hit that thumbs up button if you can, comment down below, let me know if there's other pieces of kit that you want to see reviewed or if you have questions. Uh, those guys over there are pretty responsive so I'll let them know this video is up and they might be able to answer some of those questions direct. Uh, and. And yeah, hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Notification icon helps out too. And until next time, take care.